um, it's one thing uh, reading reading concepts, right? Yeah. It's yes. Different yes. Applying it. <laughs> concept applying it, yeah. And yeah. also, uh, Doctor Joel, one of the key stuff that I've really kind of uh, helped me in, in kind of uh, taking advancement in my own personal development, it's also the fact that we need to be open to information. For instance, many people, if, if you come and you uh, probably sh show me something and it's something I've seen before, I would yeah. immediately dismiss it. Like, oh, this looks like something I've seen here, I'm not interested. But yeah. what I do is that I, I wanna look at, it might be the same thing, but it might be different value. Yeah. So when I get on the conversation, what I wanna find out is, okay, what is the value proposition you're bringing in this, on this opportunity? For instance, I have, expert and business and coaches to write books. There are other people that are helping them to do the same, but we're not using the same strategy. Oh yeah. I'm gonna mm -hmm. show you how you can write a book from start to end, put everything together, the structure and other stuff. But they're not showing you how you can make money from that book. So when you finish with that step, you need to go look for a marketer. So those are two stuff. But then, but we're doing the same, we're doing the same thing. All of us are helping the person to get a book out. Yeah. But when I'm getting in, first, the first thing I'll tell you, hey, you yet to write a book, but that's not the first step. The first step is that we want to create an offer. I want to see how many people want to buy this book before start writing it. We want to know exactly where we can find the person that will buy the book. We want to know what we make them not to buy the book so that we fix all of these problems before we start writing. And immediately we know all of that you that I'm helping you more energized to do it because you already understand what would be the obstacle, how to fix the obstacle, what would be the challenges, how do I clear it when they come up? Compared to when I give you, oh, it's very simple. Then when you go out there, you're faced with challenges like, oh, I didn't bargain for this. And then kind of quit. Oh, yeah. So God. it's very important. Opening up to look at the value is like the number one goal. When I go on a conversation with people, when they say, oh, I want you to, I go on a conversation and when they start talking and I say, oh, wow, I already know this. They ask me, so why did you come to this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> I've got people that are very serious with me. I say, hey, look, when I go to a conversation. I'm not looking for what to buy or say. I'm looking for what to learn. I want to see what you have that mm -hmm. I don't have. Same and that. I had a conversation with one guy yesterday. He was he wanted to say a marketing plan for me. And he asked me a couple of questions on what I'm doing, how I, I do get my clients and other stuff. And when I told him the strategies I'm using, he said, but so why did you come here? <laughs> I, was like, I, was, I said, I'm hoping that you have something new that I don't have. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, if you know, you already know all of this, but I said, until I'm here, I'm not, I have, I've only learned what you know right here. So I couldn't determine if you know all of this or you're bringing something new. So yeah. the fact that you're doing marketing, I wouldn't assume I'm doing the same thing like you. Yeah. There's always an opportunity to learn. There's, oh, there's always, there's always. Um, yeah. <laughs> I share this story. So uh, Francis, he's the guy that brought me into, uh, into finance and retirement plans with healthcare. And I remember the day we had to have a Zoom like this. It was a Saturday like this, and yeah. I didn't sleep the whole Friday. I was reading everything I could read to challenge Francis. So I was kind of, <laughs> I was coming with a mindset to say, I know everything you want to tell me. Thank you. You uh -huh. tried. Bye bye. <laughs> but but still, I gave a trial, right? If I'd say, you know what? There's nothing this guy is going to tell me that I, I don't know. I have not even um, been there in the first place. So, but I came yeah, prepared yeah. to see there was something he's saying that I would not know. And, and, yeah. and after learning that, just that information, like just the information is worth more than $100,000. That's right. And I've picked it. That is and the point, man. There's a lot that is hidden in information. And People don't come to listing to understand the value. They come to listing to give a response. So they miss the value that is hidden in the information. Yeah. 